Oh, good day, guys. Well, today is Monday morning, and the today is the day we take the van over to Wagga to get the new kit put in. Just got the big girl there warming up, ready to go. Just thought I'd give you a quick look underneath before it's done, and uh, we'll see the before and after differences. So the reason we're going, you can see the shocks there. Hopefully you can see them. They're all leaking, and there's they're not doing their job anymore. Uh, sides the same and it needs a wheel alignment too so we're gonna get the wheel alignment we're gonna get the shocks we're gonna get all new bushes it's gonna get the works and jerks so we'll see what that looks like when we finish now I'm gonna see if I can do some recording if not well, I'll just show you what it looks like afterwards but I'm, I'm looking forward to see what the difference is gonna be and how well it's gonna tell after we get it done all right better get going otherwise gonna be late So I've picked the, um, the van up, I've uh, just pulled up here to give a quick update. So I've driven about 5 k's. Um, it seems to be towing really well but that was good smooth road. So here she all is here. Just about to head home. Um, so see how she goes and the way home. I'll give you the full uh, report when I get home. But anyway, yeah, so far so good. So, time will tell. It takes me about an hour to get home, so more than enough time to know if it's towing any better than what it was, but it seems to be sitting nice and sturdy on the road now. So, all right, I'll keep going, and um, yeah, I'll catch us when I get home. Just got out of the car, haven't even gone inside yet, so here we are. Now before I tell you what I think, I'll give you a quick look at what's been done under here. Just mind me for a sec. Okay. So what's been done? New shocks. From the levels, as you can see. New spring, 
and the new chain there it took out the strap the nylon strap and put in the chain um, it also has had new um, bushes put in up there at the top of the swing arm you can see the sides sort of same I won't show it's the same on both sides but um, yeah yeah so I'll get out and I'll tell you what I think I'm out so what do I think I think it's made a hell of a difference it, it tows awesome it um, it just sits on the road like it should it still sits very level with the car and it just tows awesome it used to you know it used to tow pretty good when we first got it I was pretty happy with it never I've never had any tail wag with it but I've always had a little bit of side-to-side -side rocking motion well this kit has taken that side-to-side -side out of it now it just sits there even if you hit a few bumps and stuff like that it doesn't move it just sits there it tows well and then and in saying that too once the van's towing a lot better the truck is riding a lot better so i noticed before when just this morning between this morning and now that heading over to get it done you know the car used to wave in the back a bit more well, it's taken a lot of that out of it now it, 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 it'll still move but it doesn't wave it just sort of bounces and comes back up so the van sitting steady helping the helping old max sit steady i'm very impressed i wish i had done it earlier but i'm glad i've had the time of the the original suspension to now and i can really tell a difference already so i haven't been off road or anything like that but just towing on the road is a massive difference so i can't recommend it enough um so the the truck's also got airbags to assist with the towing and the that seam moving i just thought i'd mention that but anyone out there is getting a new new van new new aussie that's what i should name this aussie anyone thinking about getting a new one i would highly recommend getting it straight up with the loveless kit because i think they're offering them now on the vans new these days where this kit wasn't available when we got out so that was most of the re that was the reason why we had ended up with the stock suspension because that's all that was available now just it's a whole new van it's like towing a brand new van it tows so much it feels so much better so i'm really happy so i recommend getting it done don't think about it just do it because if you don't do it now you won't be end up doing it later now the kit i got put in was a standard height you can get that kit and you can also get a two inch lifted kit why well, didn't I go with that because the van it already sits nice and level with the car so I didn't see the need to jack the, the van up anymore if I did it all it does is just brings the weight to the, to the front more so it's sitting that'll dip in the front which can lead to tail wag so and I can adjust the height a little bit with the airbags anyway if need be but I just wanted to leave it the stock height I was really happy with the way it towed before I'm very much happier now and it even sits seems to be sitting a tad high you know compared to what it was i'd say with the old springs they weren't quite as strong it was just sagging a little but it seems to be sitting a little bit high now so yeah and, and at the same time we got the wheel alignment done too so it's all mickey duck said the wheel bearings are good so i'll leave them in there till we're ready to go about two weeks before we go i'll get the brand new bearings put in so the brakes are good one happy little man here so yeah once again i'll say one more time i recommend getting that kit put in your van at the very start and you will never be unhappy with the way it tows all good all right i'm going in to have a coffee and a sit down and i'll talk to you in the next one